Hi there. I'm Chris Durst, co-founder of RatRaceRebellion.com. Thank you for joining us for Module 5 of our free online course about how to find legitimate work-from-home jobs and gigs. If you're dropping in for the first time on Module 5 and haven't yet watched the previous four modules, I strongly encourage you to, at the very least, watch Modules 3 and 4. There really is some really, really strong information in there that will help you build a solid foundation under your job search. Um, it will help you bypass a lot of scams and find jobs that nobody else is going to find. It's just, it, it's just that deep. Um, it's great, great information. So I'm not going to badger you about it, but just do it. Just do it. Um, you may hear me referencing, uh, making references to those modules as I go forward because of some of the techniques that people learned there. Today, I want to talk to you about Indeed.com. Now, Indeed is hands down the largest job board on the internet. And there's a reason for that. They're global, first of all. And secondly, they don't just have jobs that have been posted by companies who are hiring. They have jobs that have also been um, posted by staffing agencies, recruiters, um, but they also send spiders all over the internet to grab jobs from other job boards, big ones and little ones, some that you've probably never heard of, some that are very industry specific or niche specific, and they're sort of putting everything all into this one big place. And that makes them a fantastic place to look for jobs. It also makes them a very, very deep pond to swim in. And so knowing how to navigate them beyond the simple what and where fields that they have on their homepage is so important to fine tuning your search for the work from home job that you're looking for. So let's go over to the indeed.com homepage and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So when you land at indeed.com, you're going to find exactly as I said, the what field, which is the job title, the company name, keywords, things like that, and the where, where do you live? We don't want to put in a where yet because a lot of work from home jobs are open everywhere, all across the country. And so you don't want to limit your search. And chances are when you pull it up, it may auto populate with your town. Um, you can just remove that before going forward. In the interest of keeping everything apples and apples and sort of keeping um, a baseline throughout these modules, I'm going to search for customer service. So, and I'm going to put that in quotes. And those of you who are with me in module three know why I'm putting that in quotes. Those of you who are just joining me, um, it's because I want to search for that exact phrase as opposed to that phrase and then the individual words. I'm searching for the exact phrase customer service and those quotes tell indeed that. I'm going to hit search and it's going to come back with our results for customer service generally. All right, and you can see that we have a whopping 1,980,000 results here. And that is because it is a very wide net. We're, we're casting a very big net here um, and we're not giving it any parameters. So what we need to do is start to break down the parameters, start to fine tune this and make sure that it is a job search that is specific to you and what you're looking for. And by the way, while I put customer service, remember that other companies or, or many companies will change the phrases that they use, meaning customer service, but they'll, um, they're, they're customer advocates, customer care. So don't be afraid to swap that out to different terminology as you become more familiar with the different phrases that companies use. So the first thing I want to do is fine tune this a little bit. I don't want to see job leads from the past 14 days. I want to see them from the last week for my purposes. If you're looking at Indeed every single day, then look at the last 24 hours. But because I want to make sure that we get some good results here, I'm going to use the last seven days. This tab is really, really important. This remote tab, I'm going to click on that and say that I only want to see remote jobs, not hybrid. And if you don't click anything there, you're going to get everything. So it's going to be work on site in a brick and mortar, hybrid and remote. But I want to be very specific and tell that them that I want to look for remote only in this case. I'm not going to give it a pay scale. 
I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to confine it. I don't care if it's full-time, part-time. One tab that I do want you to take a look at, or one menu, is the encouraged to apply. So if you have a special set of circumstances, if you don't have a college degree, if you don't have a high school or a GED, education. If you are former military or, or current military hoping to transition or supplement, if you're fair chance, in other words, if you have a felony on your record, there are some companies that have what they call, they, they are fair chance companies. They will consider you and as long as you're eligible, that felony is not going to get in the way of them hiring you. And then there's also back to work. Um, so if you have any of those uh, any of those um, situations, then you can definitely go through and check that out as well. So in some of those cases, it's they're, they're going to give preference. For example, military, some comp companies will give um, preference um, or give a, give a second look at least to military. Um, and for example, if you have a felony on your record, there are some companies that are easier to work with than others, easier to land a job with. I'm not going to worry about residency requirement. However, if you are working in a state where it's hard to find a work from home job like California, New York, Massachusetts, um, if you live in Chicago, Illinois, there are some states where it's really difficult. Um, and I have a separate video on that and you'll find that in the resources below if you're watching this on the Rat Race Rebellion site. If you're watching on YouTube, just go to the, the description below, um, open the full description and you'll find a link to the Rat Race Rebellion site and you'll find any resources that are mentioned in this video. All right, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm not going to choose a residency requirement or location. I'm not going to choose a specific company. I am, however, under posted by going to choose employer. Um, I don't like to add an extra layer to anything. So I don't want to have to go through a staffing agency who's going to look at me for an employer. You can, for me, it's a personal choice. I feel like the fewer layers, the better chances are of actually getting in front of the people who are ultimately going to be making the decision. And then, of course, we also have um, the education field over here. I almost missed it. There's an experience level over here as well. So pick and choose whichever ones you feel are the best suited for the search that you want to do for the particular job that you're after. The, with the ones that I set, I now have 5,644 jobs that I can look at. Uh, and that's without a lot of fine tuning. So again, the finer, the finer you set your parameters, the fewer jobs that you'll have there. Now, the other thing that I want to point out is you're going to find whatever you click on over here, you're going to see the job description over here in the right column. I just want to point out that with Indeed, you have companies where you can apply directly through Indeed, and those will be the ones that say easy apply. And that's where you're going to, when you, when you click on it over here and you click on apply now, it's going to, you're going to be putting your application in through Indeed. And you'll find others like this where you're applying on the company site. Now, Personal preference for me, and I just talked about removing extra layers. I personally favor applying to the companies where you apply directly on their site because you're removing that middleman. You're removing Indeed from the process. No more middleman. That's not to say I am not bad mouthing Indeed. We love Indeed. We find a lot of the jobs that we post to the site on Indeed. Um, I'm just talking about cutting to the chase and making as streamlined a run as possible for the jobs that you're interested in. Um, definitely, I mean, if you see something that is perfect for you and it has the easy apply, then go for it. Go for it. Absolutely. I'm just talking about streamlining. Um, and in this case, for me, I feel that the apply on company site is the fastest route to the company. Now, as you scroll down the page, I want you to notice that at the bottom of the left-hand column, you're going to see a an opportunity where you can get Indeed to send you email alerts when it finds jobs that match the search that you conducted. I want to point out, however, that it is looking for customer service specific. Um, 
Indeed recently made that change to their site where they did away with the advanced search features. And in doing so, uh, it also did away with being able to have a very fine-tuned, very specific email alert come to you. But there is a way that you can work around that at least to a certain extent, and I'm going to show that to you. So you can see right now it says, I want to receive the latest job alert for customer service. I'm going to go back up to the top of the page where we did not put anything in here and I'm going to now add remote and I'm going to hit search. You see when I do that it wipes out all of the other parameters that I had set here. But what it did accomplish is when I get back down to the bottom of the page I want to receive the latest job alert for customer service in remote. Now, now that you've done that you can go ahead and put in your email address and activate it. Once you've activated it, then Indeed will start to send you regular emails every time they get, and I think they're sending them out once a day, but you'll you'll get them. Um, and it will be every time that they get a new post on the site that contains that phrase, customer service, and an indication that the job is remote. Again, remember, you may want to run this again using customer care, um, customer advocate, all of those different phrases and then set a separate alert for each one of those because if you don't do that you're only going to get customer service in remote so to make the best use of the email alerts make sure that you're changing out the name of the job of the position um, and getting every one of them into play and that way you're going to start getting uh, emails in your inbox for each and every phrase each and every term that companies might use when describing that position. So that's it for Indeed. I'm going to leave you with that. Any questions? If you have any questions, again, drop them into the comment section below the video if you're watching in YouTube or if you're watching on the Rat Race Rebellion site. Click on the Watch on YouTube little button on, on the video itself, pop over to YouTube and drop your questions or comments into that comment section under the video. We're definitely paying attention to that and we will answer your questions if you leave them there for us. I will see you in Module 6. Have a great day.